What's going on backpackers, hikers, and campers? My name is Dave, this channel is called Off Grid. I'm at the Backpacking, Hiking, Camping, and Gear. And today is my first ever Q&A video. So apologies if I stumble my way through this. I'm new at it, but I just figured, all right, I'm reaching a certain subscriber base now, so let me just shoot out uh, any questions that you guys might have and I can answer them for you. So let's just dive right into the questions that I received here and um, all of them are basically from all of my YouTube buddies. So apologies in advance, I'm gonna rep all those channels. You should definitely check out every single one of them. Uh, but let's just head on down the list. The first one I'm gonna get to today is from my buddy Jerry over at Tangent Trails 79 on Instagram. And he asks, are there any plans for some Colorado wilderness backpacking in the future? There are no concrete plans, Jerry, on that, but I definitely um, want to head out that way and uh, check out some sections of the CT because I know Jared over at Outside Comfort Zone talks about it quite a lot. The uh, Shield Brothers end up going out there a decent amount. Um, and I think Melissa, the unlikely hiker, who was another one who asked me a question over here, just talked about um, that as well. She just went on a trip recently on uh, a section of the Colorado Trail as well. So I definitely want to head out that way, just in general too, because I've never been there. It seems like a pretty cool place to explore. The next question comes from uh, my other YouTube buddy, Jeremiah, over at Jeremiah Stringer Hikes. Um, how you doing, buddy? I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, I recently went out this year with uh, Jeremiah and a bunch of other YouTubers in the Smokies. And I just want to uh, take a quick second here to do another hype on the backpacking podcast, which he does with John Kelly. Um, I do a lot on their channel too. I'll pop into some of their live streams. I've asked them questions before. So it's really great to see the community and, uh, you know, have uh, Jeremiah ask me a question back is really awesome. So, but he asks, uh, what's your favorite hike in Cali that I've done? And um, I have to say my all-time favorite trail just in general has been out here in California as well. It's in the Sierras and I don't know if it has an official name to it, but I call it the uh, Chicken Foot Trail. Um, and I've done a video on it as far as like, you know, my favorite hike just in general in the past. Um, scenic shots, a bunch of different lakes that you pass by. Um, you're at higher elevation and it's, it's kind of just breathtaking. So I, I really love um, that hike. I did it as a day hike. I definitely would do it as a backpacking trip as well. So I, I, I had done it with a bunch of friends and uh, hope to get back out on that trail pretty soon. The next question comes from Nicole um, and her handle on Instagram is Maroni6286. She's new to Instagram, but you might know her as Nicole Hikes a lot over on YouTube. So great to see Nicole um, here on Instagram. She and some of these guys have asked a bunch of different questions. So I apologize if there's a bunch in there, but I actually love it. So I'm just gonna kind of dissect each one of them. She asked, what hikes do you plan on doing and new areas you haven't explored? And I'll just kind of take a break in between each one of the questions there. So um, for the hikes that I plan on doing, um, there's a lot to actually explore in the Southern California area or just like the bottom half of the state, which is kind of where I'm based in general that I haven't yet seen um, that I want to go and see. So I think a part of the JMT um, is on it, if not the whole thing. I don't know if the whole trail's on it, but I definitely want to hit up the JMT. I want to go to the um, Lost Trail, which is really hard to get a permit to do. And then just other like PCT uh, section hikes and, and and things of that nature um, and then up in like the Lake Tahoe area as well I really like it up there but haven't really done um, any backpacking up there the next question she has is what's your favorite winter quilt or sleeping bag and I when I first read that I thought it was like any quilt or sleeping bag but she specifically says winter quilt so I actually only have I guess two in general like dedicated winter bags one's from outdoor vitals and it's a 30 degree but that i think is kind of pushing it um, and the comfort might be a little bit higher there and then the other one specifically for winter is the first quilt that i ever bought which is from ugq so i'm gonna have to say ugq um great uh, custom quilts um and i was able to just custom make that one um, it's very durable even though you know you think just in general that the materials are a little bit thinner and whatnot but um, i think they use a little bit heavier denier 
and I just really like it. It's kind of like, sort of like, as far as quilts goes, kind of like bomb proof and super, super warm. So definitely comfort rating on that bag down to like 20 degrees. So I love that one. And then our last uh, question here was, what is my favorite backpacking meal? I'm gonna have to go with Next Mile Meals. I've been a proponent of that on my channel for a little bit of time now and uh, really enjoy pretty much all that they have. But if I had to pick my all time favorite so far, I'd have to say the beef tacos. And I know that sounds a little, uh, I don't know, uh, not super crazy, like a pad thai or anything like that. See, it sounds a little bit more simple, but um, the flavoring that they use is like top notch and they also add some peppers and stuff in there too. So, and cheese, I think. So it's it's definitely a an awesome meal. So I highly recommend it. All right, so that's those are the questions that I got over on Instagram. Let's move over into the YouTube questions that I received. And let's go from uh, bottom to top, which is the one that I got first to the one that I got last. And uh, I'm gonna start off with uh, Taylor over at Southern High. I think it's Taylor. It's uh, Taylor and Rachel over there. Um, Pre-congratulations, actually don't know. They're, they're having their, their first child pretty soon. So congrats on that just in general, guys. That's, that's huge. Um, so really great that he had sent in a question here. He asks, do you have a dream trail that you wanna do? I think for me, and I had already mentioned it, um, the Lost Trail, I think, I've, I've heard some pretty amazing things about. Um, so I would really like to do that somewhat close to home. And um, like I said, I think it's kind of hard to get a permit for that one, but uh, I've heard nothing but like excellent reviews of like everybody who's been on it so far. So I would really love to check that out. I'm also a big beach guy and I know there's like long sections of, of beach hiking. So um, I would really like to, to hit that trail up. Um, the next uh, two questions that I got is from my buddy Calman over at Everyday Backpacker. Make sure you check out his channel as well. Um, the first question that he asks is, besides gear, what is your favorite part of backpacking and why? And it's mostly because he knows me pretty well and I love gear and that's definitely my, probably my number one reason why I like backpacking. But I'd have to say, uh, besides that, that um, my favorite part would probably be just planning in general, kind of like figuring out the details for a trip, things like that. And then the obvious as well, just like getting out there, seeing the views, being able to unplug, um, be a little bit closer to nature and not really have to think about all the stresses that you kind of leave behind um, when you're out there. And it's usually just for a short period of time, but um, you know, it's kind of weird. Like I think a lot of people kind of look at, you know, logistical planning of trips as just like, you know, something that kind of bogs you down or, or kind of takes away from it. But I actually, in a weird way, kind of enjoy it. I know that it's tough, but I also like hammering out all of those details and taking a lot of that mystery out of it ahead of time as much as possible before I head out there, because that enables me to be more relaxed when I'm out there, if that makes sense at all. And then the next question that he asks is if you could hike anywhere in the United States, what would be your top three trails? That's a great question. Um, uh, I would have to go in, in no particular order here, but the first one I think would be probably the Tahoe Rim Trail. Um, again, I've been up there. I've done a day hike. Um, I, I shot a video of the day hike that I was on when I was up there. Uh, fell in love with the area. I could see why it's a really popular trail and I definitely want to hit it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a through hike, most likely just like section hikes of it, but I definitely would love to backpack near that area. Um, my number two, again, would have to be uh, the Lost Trail. Um, definitely want to to go on that, and then the number three would probably be I don't know it's a close one. I, I want to go to Glacier National Park and to do some backpacking up near there, which I think is pretty close to your neck of the woods, by the way, buddy. But uh, the uh, a close a close one right behind that would probably be like a, some sort of section on the Colorado Trail out in uh, Colorado. The next question comes from Melissa, the unlikely hiker, all the way from New York. Check out her channel, great content. She asks a bunch of different questions here too, so let me try to unpack these. She goes, when did you start backpacking and get serious about backpacking? That is an excellent question. I think that's the best question so far that I've seen. 
And it's because I haven't really, I don't know if I've ever really mentioned it on the channel before or to maybe even any of my YouTubing buddies out there, but the main reason why I got into backpacking, believe it or not, was my girlfriend at the time, who's now my fiance, um, had mentioned to me pretty early on, like, hey, I go out with my friends and I, and I go camping and I went to myself, oh crap, like I wasn't a big outdoor guy um, at the time and I was kind of freaking out about it and in my OCD style brain, I immediately jumped on YouTube, tried to like consume as much as I could so that I didn't look like a complete idiot when I went out with her and her friends for camping. And then pretty quickly, my interests kind of went beyond what they did, which was mostly just car co uh, car style camping or, um, you know, trailer glamping style. And I, I kind of just like hyper focused on the backpacking aspect, which they don't do a ton of. And um, it just kind of escalated and, and snowballed from there. So that's kind of where it all started. And um, the next part is if you knew you were going to be stranded on an island, what would be your big three? That is another excellent question. That's that's something that I think we all think about at one time or another. If you've ever seen the show Naked and Afraid, like you're always wondering like, what would be my one item that I would bring? But if I could bring three here, that's actually a lot better. Um, and I gave it a little bit of thought and I think uh, my number one would probably be some sort of lighter or fire starter. Um, just because I know it takes a lot of finesse and practice to be really good at just starting a fire from scratch. So definitely be a lighter. My number two would probably be some sort of pot or pan so that, you know, I can boil water or like cook my meals on. And then the third one, I was kind of wavering in between like a bug net and a knife because if you ever, again, going back to that show, if you ever watch that show, they get eaten alive by bugs. So I'm like, hey, a bug net would be awesome. I think I'm gonna go with a knife because I think it's a little bit more uh, you know, suited towards that type of environment. You can do a lot of different things with it, to, you know, building your shelter and and uh, cutting up your game or whatever for food and whatnot too. So I think uh, a knife would probably be number three. And then the last part of her questioning here is, what is your top three backpacking food choices that I bring? So I'd already mentioned Next Mile Meals, so I definitely bring them for my meals. Um, for a drink choice, I probably bring my Noon Tablets. Um, it's, it's something that's a little bit newer to me, but I really love it. I'm kind of hooked on those already. And then for a snack, I would probably bring um, my own type of trail mix. So I'd bring some sort of like keto uh, style M&M so that it wouldn't melt when I was out there. And then just like my own nut mixture from uh, Keto Farms, they make a couple of different great options there as well. All right, this next one comes from my buddy Jared over at Backcountry Champion, and that's on Instagram. His YouTube is Outside Comfort Zone. Um, he's got a couple for me. The first one he says is, uh, what's the best gadget for someone hoping to become a gadget head to start with? That's a great question. Um, I like to think of myself as a gear nerd, and he knows that, that's why he's asking me that question. Um, as far as gadgets goes, I mean, you really can look at it into a couple of different categories in my mind with backpacking. One is more like tech related, um, so I'll choose one for that, and then the other one's kind of just like, I, I don't know, I, I view it as more as like a, a multi-use kind of tool or gadget, so. Um, for me, one of my all-time favorites is the Swiss Army Micro SD. So I'm gonna use that as kind of like a really small, multi-purpose, multi-use tool that can do quite a lot um, and, and help you out um, with a lot of different tasks when you're out in the field. And then for um, something that's a little bit more tech-related, I would go with probably my watch. It's the tried and true um, Garmin Instinct watch or uh, just like Garmin in general. So, you know, I'm a big fan of Google, but when I'm out backpacking, I kind of gear more towards like the Garmin suite of things. I just think that they have, um, it's not necessarily the most intuitive type of tech, but it's definitely the most useful when I'm out there. So, um, you know, I'll use, you know, my InReach Mini in conjunction with my Instinct watch and and um, it really goes a long way in helping me feel a lot more confident when I'm out there. So the next question that uh, Jared has here is he's saying, uh, what are your three best tips for keeping gear clean and well cared for? I'm not sure if I have three specifically, but I do like to think of myself a little bit more of a, a neat freak and a clean freak when I'm out there. 
Um, that's just another challenge that I like to try to keep up on. I don't know if you can really overcome it when you're out there. You kind of do have to embrace the stink a little bit, but um, as far as the uh, the gear goes and, and how to keep that clean, first of all, you know, when you're, when you're heading out on your trips, you don't want to go out with dirty gear. And then likewise, when you come home, you want to make sure that you kind of wash it up uh, as soon as you get home. So that basically means that you need to, uh, you know, whenever you're done with a trip, take all your stuff out of your pack, anything that you can wash, um, you know, if it's a pillow or your clothes, um, just throw that in the washing machine, your cook kit, take that out, clean all of that real good. And that's pretty self-explanatory. As far as the other stuff goes, like all the down stuff is a little bit more tricky. I usually let that go a little bit longer. And then I'll use some sort of tech wash from uh, Nick Wax or, or something like that. And then I'll usually hand wash those items. A little bit more finicky and a little bit harder. I'll probably do a, a future video on telling you guys how to care for those particular type of items. But I do like to keep my stuff clean, so that's a great question. And then the last question that I'm gonna get to here is going to be from Metro on the Move. Andy had uh, come in and, and shot me a question, so definitely check out his channel, great channel. Um, he asked a couple of different questions here too. His first is, what is your most embarrassing moment on trail? I don't know if I really have a crazy moment like, you know, ripping my pants or, or anything like that. Um, for me, I always feel embarrassed. It's more internally. If I'm kind of like caught off guard by an animal when I'm out there, there's been um, multiple times it seems like where I'm just kind of like an idiot not paying attention to my surroundings and then I'll look up and like I'll hear something and it'll be like a deer that's like not far off and I, it's not really like super embarrassing but I'm kind of just like oh man I, I probably should have been more aware and like kind of looking out uh, or for my surroundings so. That's one. The second one that I'm gonna throw in here is going to be on my first ever backpacking trip. I'm not really embarrassed, but it's kind of a funny moment that happened. On my first ever backpacking trip, I was out with my buddy and uh, we had to carry a decent amount of water because there weren't any water sources on the trail. And uh, on the morning of the second day, we were starting our hike and I ended up um, dropping my knock bag off of my backpack. It just was kind of loose and it had fallen out. And there were a bunch of day hikers on the trail as well. So um, I actually have a picture of it. I can throw it up on screen here for you to take a look at. But uh, we ended up passing a bunch of hikers coming the other way. And you could see on like one of the hikers faces that they were kind of like disgusted like we were like these dirty grungy like hobo style tent campers that were out there so i thought that was kind of funny i wasn't really embarrassed by it but um it seemed like the other person might have been so that was kind of a funny moment the next question that he has is why do you hike that's a very broad question uh, getting into a little bit more of the philosophy part of it here but um, i would say for a lot of the reasons why a lot of other people hike, I think for me, well, for me personally, it's definitely about getting out there, seeing different things that you haven't seen before. Um, definitely, you know, like anything with any kind of view is what I'm looking for um, when I'm trying to, to, to find a, a solid hike. So like waterfalls, ocean sweeping views, if you're near an ocean, which I'm lucky to be near an ocean, canyon views, like any kind of like crazy overlooks and, and things to see. I'm, I'm usually all about, but I think one of the main reasons why I hike is because I love the logistical challenge of getting out there. It's it's an unforgiving environment, right? It's it's very difficult to um, just be in that environment as well as, you know, never mind like trying to succeed when you're out there. So figuring out a way to be successful when you're out there, whether it be mapping out your route, knowing where your water sources are, um, that's a huge challenge um, that I like to take on um, and so that's that's another reason why I like to get out and hike the next part of his question is if you could pick three people to go on a backpacking trip who would they be that's another excellent question um, kind of broad ranging too he wasn't very specific on this one so I don't know if it's like alive or dead can it be celebrities or whatnot but I don't really know if you were to go on a backpacking trip with a celebrity if it would be that great either so I'm gonna stick more towards the youtuber base here and uh, pick some YouTubers that I haven't been out with yet. So I've been out with you already, Andy, uh, my buddy, and uh, that was great. Um, but if I had to pick others that I haven't been out with, actually, it's a guy who asked a question in here, which is Taylor over at Southern Hike. I think it'd be awesome to get out with him and go on a trip with him. Um, another one that I'd pick would be 
uh, my longtime YouTubing buddy that um, I actually haven't met up with yet. I'm trying, I've been trying to get um, on a trip with him or at least like a day hike or something. And it's my buddy Dan over at Backpacking Adventures. Um, I think it's kind of hard though. I'm a little bit intimidated because he crushes some crazy miles when he goes out on his trips and I'm not really up to that level. So having him do anything less than like 15 to 20 mile days might be like challenging for him to do, but I'd love to get out on the trail and uh, do a trip with him. And then the third one's kind of a curveball, uh, kind of a curveball. It's a little bit odd, but um, I kind of just want to hit the trail with this guy. And it is Brigham over at Outdoor Vitals. Um, just him specifically. I mean, the team's cool too, but if I had to pick like one guy, uh, I think I would pick Brigham just because um, he seems like he has a very like locked in mentality, very similar to mine as far as um, like how he approaches backpacking and like the stuff that he takes and the trails that he goes on. Um, and he's also very knowledgeable just in general about uh, all things backpacking. So um, I would love to hit the trail with him as well. Um, and then the last part of Andy's question here is what has been your most rewarding backpacking trip to date? I'm going to have to say that Smokey's trip that I've been on. I'm still relatively new to the backpacking space, but um, for the most part, I mean, the Smokies was on my bucket list for a little while and I definitely wanted to head out there and explore it a little bit. But for the most part, I think it was getting to meet all the great people in the YouTube space. That was the first big like YouTube collection of people that I was able to be fortunate enough to get out and, and check out. Um, and uh, it was just really great to bounce a lot of different ideas, talk about gear um, and be in a similar space with other people, a bunch of different cameras and, and shooting the trip and, and everything too. It was just uh, being in a, in a spot with a lot of like-minded individuals was, was really awesome. So I'd have to go with that trip so far, but I, I've had a lot of other ones, but that one kind of uh, takes the cake so far. All right, and before we wrap up here, there's one last thing that I wanted to do, and it was to rip this shirt right here. It says, um, I hike to burn off the crazy. And this is, uh, I was introduced uh, to this Etsy shop by my buddy that I mentioned in this video, Dan over at Backpacking Adventures. This is actually his wife's shop. And uh, I wanted to, to represent it as well because I thought they have some, she's got some pretty amazing uh, designs on there. Um, and it's you know, a very comfortable shirt. Her shop is called Pixie Dust Perfect Shop. And um, like I said, a lot of different uh, options for you to choose from, not just for hiking as well, but she's got a, a lot of different stuff in different areas to check out. So make sure you check out that shop, not sponsored in any way. Um, I just wanted to, to represent and, and give a quick shout out to Dan uh, and his wife and her, um, her shop. So definitely check them out if you can. Um, so that's going to do it. That's going to round out the first ever Q&A. Um, if you submitted a question after I shot this video, I apologize and I will uh, save them for the next round if I ever get around to doing another one. Um, I actually have an idea if and when I ever hit 1,000 subs, I might do a live Q&A at that time. So uh, feel free if you haven't left a question already and you want me to answer it, leave it down below in the comments and I'll, I'll save it for next time and uh, do it then. But uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you're headed off grid, make sure you do your research and you make it a safe one. I'll catch you on the next one. And you can just do like military showers when you're out there. That's that's an easy way to keep yourself clean. He's talking about gear and I'm talking about myself. That's kind of dumb. <laughs>